This was my first attempt at going home. Let's just say I had better success making peanut butter. This episode finds me in Paris, a beautiful place, some of which have very small elevators and even more steps. You would think you are climbing the Eiffel Tower. Seem as though New Star takes a lot of starting over. With the weather almost resembling London, my previous basking in the sun came to a halt. And now, I was lukewarm. Having a cold devotional life. I have been wanting to have a deeper experience with the Lord um, in my devotional life, in my Christian walk overall. And um, I started this way with um, my devotions. I prayed and I said, Lord, I am so exhausted when it comes um, to waking up in the morning. Lord, please, you know, just wake me up. Wake me up. And when I wake up, I don't want to be tired. And he woke me up. And the message that he gave me that morning was this. I was studying about the life of Caleb and um, Joshua. Um, And this can be found in the book of Joshua. And I was studying about how Caleb had a promise. You know, he was promised by Moses that he would get a certain part of the land um, in the promised land. You know, he would get um, Horeb. And he, he was like young. Like 40 years ago, he was pretty young. And he, he was now 80 odd, maybe 85 years old. And the land was being divided. Horeb was not yet conquered. And Joshua was doing the dividing. He was also responsible for doing the dividing. But, you know, he was in charge of how the land would be proportionate, pro- proportioned. And he was the, the leader of Judah. And he came to Joshua humbly, you know, with the other leaders of, of Judah. And he asked him for Horeb. And in his, in his um, petition, in his plight, you know, the book Patriarchs and Prophets said that he, he was humble about it. You know, it's a beautiful land, but the land was not yet conquered. And so he said to Joshua that he wanted Horeb to glorify God's name because here was, you know, this was the very place that they had gone 40 years before and the others said that it would not be possible the 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 10 other spies said that it would not be possible to conquer this land because the people there were giants the the landscape was horrendous it was there was a rough terrain but joshua and caleb of course you know said let's go let's go and conquer the land and God rewarded Caleb for his faith. And he said that he would he would give him a special inheritance because he had faith that God could help them to conquer the land. So now he's asking for that land, not yet conquered. And he says God's name is going to be glorified because we are going to conquer the land. I am not the same age that I was 40 years ago, right? Now I am 85 years old and I have the same strength that I did at that time and we are going to conquer the land. And Joshua just like, yeah, sure, yes, go, go and take it, go and take the land. And you know what that showed to everybody? 40 years ago, your forefathers did not believe that they could conquer the land. And they succumbed to their own belief. They all died in the wilderness. Not one of them inherited the promised land because of their faith. Their faith told them that it was impossible. And so, it was impossible. But Caleb and Joshua's faith told them that it was possible and then it was possible i spoke to a friend yesterday after i had the devotion 
right? And something, you know, the same theme kept coming back. He said that he read something once that when we go to heaven, we're going to see presents and our names are going to be on it. And it's not going to. And, you know, our names are going to be on it. And we're going to ask, you know, why is it that this present is here? Why didn't I get it while I was on earth? And the answer is going to be that you did not claim it. And I look at that and I'm saying, we limit God and we limit our prayers to what we believe as possible. But we need to start praying impossible prayers because God is not limited to our frame of what is logical and what is rational and what is scientifically possible. God is outside of all of that. And so... I literally thought of the most impossible thing and I prayed and I say, Lord, I'm going to claim it like Caleb because it is mine. You promised it to me. I'm going to claim it and it is mine. I'm going to act according to my faith because if I act any less than my faith, that will be my fate. F-A-T-E. And so... I just want to encourage us to act according to our faith and know that heaven is going to be behind us because of it. And so, you know, it didn't take me very long to record this video. I don't usually like doing these things, but I was so impressed, you know, and I believe that when God tells you something, you should act on it immediately because delay could cause you to not enter a promised land in a day and it takes you a whole 40 years before you can get to do it again it is serious and how are these two topics related is that we need to pray <clears throat> and claim we need to claim the words that are written in the bible for or example we need to claim them and we need to pray impossible prayers and my impossible prayers is that sometimes i feel so sinful sometimes i'm so trenched in sin and i believe that i cannot be saved i cannot enter the heavenly promised land and i said forget that god is telling me that i need to pray and claim the fact that I am going to be forgiven for my sins and he's going to prepare me, a sinner, to enter into the heavenly promised land. That was my impossibility. And I pray that we will ask for whatever it is that seems impossible to us, claim it. It doesn't have to be a long, elaborate prayer, but claim it. And go forward and you will be a changed person in your spiritual walk with God you will ask for things that like Joshua asking for the Sun to stand still and the moon to stay still and it does because we do not limit God and so I pray that we all would have you know gotten something from from all that I've said it's like eight minutes long or ten minutes by now but yeah or nine minutes but yeah I pray that we will be encouraged and you know we will we will pr pray impossible prayers and not limit God to our own thoughts on what we think that he can do for us have a blessed day everyone <laughs>